All right, welcome back to today's video. Today, I want to share with you why it is easier than ever to be on YouTube, to start making content, to advertise using social media. I think something has changed or it's changing that's actually gonna make it really easy to get involved and to actually start doing it yourself. So whether you're looking to start making videos, whether you're looking to do some marketing on social media, what we're gonna talk about today I think will be really, really insightful. Now, if you've been here before, you might recognize that this looks a little different. It might be like a little choppy, maybe my audio is a little off. I'm, I'm working in and dialing, dialing in the settings, um, but I'm using what's called OBS. So it's like a screen recording software. This video isn't about that, but if things look a little weird, that's why. I'm going to try to make it look real nice over the next couple of videos. Um, but I do want to share with you what I think is changing in social media. And I'm going to talk about my own experience um, as someone who makes videos on YouTube. Um, and so, yeah, let's just dive right into that. And then the, the hist I guess, and this is this kind of like stuttering right now, it's all going to play into the video, right? Just, just watch. Um, so historically, what we have seen is that on YouTube or in social media, there's like really, really manicured and well curated content, right? Um, so you can watch someone's YouTube video and it looks like it was made in like a studio in like a Hollywood, it's like Hollywood level. You know, people buy really expensive cameras and really expensive equipment and they can make some really, really high quality content um, that goes on YouTube, right, from their own home. And so we would see this, uh, you know, from a lot of different people, I guess influencers would do it or marketing, that would be the case. Right. And so it might be intimidating for someone like let's imagine you just have a webcam. Right. Um, and you're thinking, well, yeah, I want to like make social media content to market my brand or my product or whatever it is. Um, but you don't have all that stuff and you don't know how to edit videos that well. Like, how are you going to put something out there that people want to watch? Because a little while ago, that's what people were watching, like this super curated and highly edited content. However, I've noticed that there has been a shift. Now, this is not only my own anecdotal experience, and I'm actually going to share with you some of my own observations in my own YouTube channel, but you're going to see different marketing experts talking about this. I, I can't recall exactly, but I think I saw like Gary V talk about it. There's a guy who writes some blog. I don't know him that well. I don't know him at all, but I see him online. His name is Neil Patel. I guess he's some marketing expert. He says this, and then I've also recognized this in my own experience, and this, and it's this right here. I'm actually going to type out while we talk about it. Um, and let me actually open my uh, my screen share right here. It is right here. And the number one thing I think is beginning to change is going to be, um, and I'm a horrible speller, authenticity. I think what more people are starting to do is creating content that is authentic. And I'm not saying that the stuff that's been created before is not authentic because there's the authentic, like you present your authentic self. Um, but I guess another way I'm kind of thinking about this is it's a lot less curated, right? It's actually kind of like this where I'm stuttering a little bit. I'm, I'm making mistakes. I'm not editing it out. Um, it's a lot more actually really look at this and, and this too, right? Like my, um, you're, I'm blocked by the screen share. Let me go ahead and fix that for you. Kind of like this. That looks good. Um, it's, it's not, you know, I'm realizing people are putting out content that is not so highly edited. It's not so curated. Um, it's a lot of people just turning on a camera, whatever they have, and speaking to the camera from their own experiences, right? And so I think in that regard, we're seeing authenticity, not just of the person and um, like that's effective, but also authenticity of like um, we're, we're not editing everything, right? We're not curating everything. And I'm starting to see this trend a lot more. I'm starting to see a lot more videos that do really well that are just people turning on a camera and talking to it, making some mistakes, maybe stuttering here or there, you know, maybe having to do like that re-say something and not editing it out. Um, now, I don't know exactly why this is starting to become more popular. My guess is it's a lot more relatable, right? It's a lot more, yeah, I mean, there's something about that that just is... Um, it just, yeah, it just, it just feels more relatable. I guess that's the best way I can describe it. Um, and I guess another way we can think about this, and, and I've already used this word, but things aren't as curated, 
right? So we're kind of getting this combination of um, authenticity and let me write that out so it's out here so you can actually see it. And not so, not so curated, right? And so when we have this combination, I do think it's super relatable. Now, in my own YouTube journey and history, if you go back on my channel a while back, you'll notice I was posting one video about every week, maybe a little less, and to the best that I could. Now, I'm not an expert. I would curate it as much as I could. Now, I'd bring my authentic self into the video. That is true, but I would edit out mistakes. I would make sure it was cohesive. I would make sure that I had a full script written out. I would um, make sure there were different, you know, different animations and all that kind of thing. And that took a lot of time, right? And, and it was also almost too polished. I realized that people aren't really looking to see all that, right? They're not going on this YouTube channel to see something super curated. Like that's not, um, that's not what they're here for. They're really here for what I have to say. And I realized that when I say it, in a, in a medium, like a video medium that isn't so curated, it's a lot more relatable. And so what I've done now on my own YouTube channel is I started to post one video every single day. And it's kind of like this, where it's not perfect. There's going to be some mistakes. I'm not going to edit them out. And my guess is that when you watch this, you can kind of think, oh, I can envision myself doing that too. It's not so perfect. It's not so curated. I can actually make videos too. You know, I can market my product. I can talk about what I want to talk about. Um, and it's not so intimidating. And this is not only kind of a new trend, but it's it's like something that, you know, I, I see, it's not only that people are making more content like that, but it's also resonating more with the audience that they're trying to reach. Um, and so uh, if you, yeah, I mean, if you look at my own channel now with, I have like uh, several weeks where I've made one video every day. And though, and I have a very, very small channel, mind you, right? Some videos get like less than a hundred views. That's not the point. But what you'll see is out of those videos, some of them do a lot better than the ones that I spent hours and hours and hours making. Okay. So two takeaways from all this is that I think a trend moving forward, at least for 2024, is going to be content that's more authentic and less curated. Now, why is that good news for you? Um, this is good news for anyone who wants to get involved in making videos um, because it now means that you don't need all these skills and, and technical background to make a highly edited video. Look at this. I have double. Like, this is a mistake, right? Then usually I'd edit this out. We're not going to edit this out. Let me fix this. So the good news is you don't need, yeah, all these technical skills, right? And the other thing is you don't need to spend so much time thinking and planning. Now, of course, you need to uh, have an idea for a video, um, but part of the authenticity is just turning on the camera and starting to talk and in some regard, allowing your ideas to develop organically. Um, so I think now is a better time than ever to get involved in social media or whatever whatever avenue you want. Um, I personally prefer YouTube. I think it works really well. Um, and yeah, if you're looking to grow your brand, market your business, create content that other people watch, um, I think that this these two things are going to be huge. And now I think the entry point um, is much wider for people because anyone can turn on a camera, right? And anyone can start talking to it. Now that might take some practice, but um, yeah, I think you know what I'm saying, right? So authenticity and less curated content, I think this is going to be, to be big. Anyway, that was all I wanted to talk about today. I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you found it useful. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.